episode 2,532 of the number one podcast on Apple Podcasts for Job Search. You are listening to or watching No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm your host, Jeff Altman, the big game hunter, and welcome. Just going to remind you, do a live stream at 1 p.m. Eastern today. If you've got questions for me, you can put it into chat on either YouTube or on LinkedIn. It's called Career Coach Office Hours and has the date. And uh, I take live questions from people. Or if you don't have time, you know to think you'll be able to make it. Message me through LinkedIn with your questions. I'd be happy to answer. That's linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Now, today I just want to say another longer show, closer to 10 minutes, probably about nine and a half. And uh, we talk about mistakes that people make when quitting. Hope you find this helpful and give the show a great review wherever you listen to it or watch it. Because again, remember Spotify video podcast. And we'll be back in just one moment. Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I'm called The Big Game Hunter. It started to happen when I worked in recruiting. I would hunt down leaders and staff organizations and did that for a long time. Now I provide no BS career advice to people globally. And that can relate to anything ranging from a job search to resolving workplace issues to a lot of things in the middle. Holistically, think of your career, and I'm someone who supports people with being better at it. Today, I'm going to talk with you about 10 mistakes people make when it comes time to quit their job. And the first one's the obvious one, burning their bridges. You don't want to be critical of people, the organization, your manager on the way out the door. Why? Because you never know when these where these folks are going to wind up next. And your hypercriticism, because you're feeling good and you're angry, can wind up hurting you at the next organization you go to, because you know you're not going to be at this firm for the next 30 years of your life, right? So don't burn your bridges. When asked about why you left, I got approached about an opportunity that was really exciting to me. And uh, I'm being paid more, but it's really about the opportunity. No criticism about anything going around here. This is about a better opportunity elsewhere. That's the simplest way to deal with it. Number two is telling people too soon before the, the offer, before your not next job is completely secure. Often people don't read offer letters carefully enough to notice that the offer is, quote, contingent upon completion of background checks. And until that's uh, completed, you don't have an offer because the word Contingent is one of those legalese terms basically saying we're making you an offer provided that you do something or we do something. And without a successful background check, without a successful reference check, for example, you don't have an offer. You may, they may look at uh, credit history, um, do drug testing, anything that they provide or indicate your offer is contingent upon then you have to not resign until such time as those have been satisfied and they tell you that. Third is giving too much notice. We all know that two weeks notice is standard. You don't want to blow a job because they want you there in two weeks, not for you to give two weeks notice. Apologize to your firm, apologize to your manager. I need to start my new position in two, within two weeks. So I can give a week's notice and start uh, and leave the following, uh, and leave at the end of that week. I'll do any sort of knowledge transfer that's necessary. I apologize. You know, they just need me there. So I need you here. I understand, but I'm going to be leaving. So if you could arrange for anything that you need me to do before my departure, I'm happy to do it, even if that means working overtime. Fourth is getting histrionic about something. People get angry. They get wild. Uh, they act out badly when it comes time to quit. Histrionics are never a good thing. Going crazy about something is never a good thing. Don't do that. You know, 
people remember it will hurt you going forward. Next is working too hard or too little after you quit. Too little basically means you know that people see you sitting back not caring. And too hard is you overwork. Uh, and you're going ballistic here, uh, trying to get so much done. And you're on people's cases way too much. And I know this is all about a sense of guilt that you may feel, but you know, you're moving on. You made a decision. It serves you and your professional interests. Yes, you've had personal relationships. Yes, you're going to network with people going forward, and they with you. Don't be a jerk. Don't work too hard uh, to the point where you're obnoxious to people. Don't work too little to the point where you know, people become resentful over your behavior. Next is resigning at the wrong time and thus losing out on benefits or restricted stock units or some vesting period that you might have earned if only you'd stayed a little bit longer. I'm working with someone now. Uh, he resigned the position and you know, he lost out on vesting for you know, stock that wound up well, a portion of his stock that wound up being worth a significant amount of money. When I asked him to look into it prior, he told me, this won't be a problem. And it was, because we're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars involved. And firms don't feel compelled to be nice to people who are leaving them. Seven should go without saying, you steal, don't steal or damage property, and that can include data, laptops, office equipment of any sort desks. You know, I've seen people at firms I've worked at, they've set fire in the bathroom. You know, that's how, how much they acted out at the time of their departure. I know you're not that way, but people do crazy stuff. Don't do it. Ideally, you give yourself a little bit of time off between jobs to decompress. So if you can, give two weeks notice and start after one week where you give yourself a little bit of downtime. So that this way, you're not jumping from a frying pan into the next hot pan without a little bit of time to decompress. You're not prepared on the day that you give notice. And that can be just for the conversation and what you say. It could be for the fact that you may be told to leave then and there and, and how to do that and do it well. So... I've seen managers, I've heard of uh, managers just go crazy at the time someone quits and, and say, get out of here. This is your last day. I don't need you. And throw you out and won't let you take your personal property out and much more. So mentally be prepared that on the day you give notice, it could be your last day with the firm. Don't be surprised by that. Lastly, number 10 is discussing your future employer with people at your existing organization. There is nothing that good that comes out of that. What starts to happen is that people get resentful. They start thinking that maybe, just maybe, you know, you're, you're gloating or you're bragging or you're sticking, them, sticking it in their face that they're, I'm going to such and such firm. And I'm going to be doing such and such, and you aren't. And, you know, they get annoyed because you're bragging, you're boasting. So uh, I'll just simply say, really, don't discuss the next organization. You know, just move on. Get yourself out of there and do it as soon as you can. Hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Altman. Hope you don't make these mistakes. But if you do, stop it. Don't, don't do this kind of stuff. Visit my website, TheBigGameHunter.us. There's a ton of the blog that will help you. Plus, you can schedule time for a free discovery call, a coaching session. Find out about my courses, books, and guides. There's a lot there that will help you. You can also schedule time for a free discovery call or a coaching session at the site so that this way I can help you. The discovery call is designed to determine whether you'd like to work with me as a coach. I don't actually coach. But you, know, you have an opportunity to figure out whether you think it would be worthwhile. 
Lastly, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Have a terrific day and be great.